Hello and welcome back to the Excel 2010 Essential Training Series. Before we begin, make sure you've downloaded this spreadsheet by clicking on the Tutorial Files button below. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at creating charts. So this is the spreadsheet we were looking at in the last tutorial, except now it's complete. We're going to look at creating charts for some of the questions. This spreadsheet shows the results of a small survey that was carried out. We want to show these results in the form of charts. So what I'm going to do is highlight the data I want to turn into a chart. All we really need when we're creating a chart in Excel are the values you want to use to create the chart and the corresponding labels to go with those values. So in this case we want these labels now we want these values. So if we want to highlight two separate areas of a spreadsheet, what we have to do is hold down the control key. So I'm going to press control and then highlight the second area. So now I've highlighted the labels and the values. I can then insert a chart by going to the insert tab and choosing a chart type. I'm going to insert a pie chart click on the one you want and then you can put it wherever you want it to go. It's very important always to add a suitable chart title so I'm going to choose a layout with a title so let's go with this one and I'm going to type the title. Now I'm just going to put the question so it was how often do you buy DVDs Okay, so that's the first chart. I'm going to put that over there for now. Now let's create another chart. So I'm going to create another chart for the second question. So let's highlight the labels again. Hold down control and highlight the percentages. I'm going to go back to the insert tab. I'm going to insert a column chart this time. Now we've got the chart, that's fine but we need to add a chart title again and we also need a X and Y axis label. So let's choose a suitable one. So this one has got all of those. So let's give it a chart title. So how often do you buy CDs? And then Okay, so this will be percentage of people, and this one will be frequency, and we don't actually need the legend for this, so I can just click on that and delete it. Sometimes in more complex charts you would actually need the, the legend, but we don't need it in this example. OK, so there we go, we've got two basic charts. Have a go at creating some suitable charts for the next two questions.